I'm Monica Reinagel, the Nutrition Diva, here with another quick and dirty tip for eating well and feeling fabulous. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own fabulous salad dressing. Because for me, nothing kills a salad faster than bottled salad dressing. I find them too salty or too sweet or too sour. They're just too heavily flavored and they tend to completely overwhelm the flavor of the greens in the salad. Plus, nothing could be simpler than making your own. And I'm gonna show you exactly how. You wanna start with an empty salad bowl. Before you put your salad in, that's when you make your salad dressing. And the first thing we're gonna do is add some form of acid. Now, if you were gonna make a Caesar salad dressing, you might start with lemon juice. If you wanted to make an Asian-inspired salad dressing, maybe rice vinegar would be a good choice. I'm gonna make a balsamic vinaigrette, so I'm gonna start with some balsamic vinegar. And you're just gonna add a little bit of vinegar to your salad bowl, not very much. Okay, now this next step is completely optional. If you want to, if you've got an extra minute or two, you can add some extra flavoring to your salad dressing. If you were making the Caesar salad dressing, you might wanna add some crushed garlic or a little anchovy paste. Or for the Asian dressing I talked about, I like to add a pinch of dried mustard and a pinch of ground ginger. It makes a great salad dressing. For my balsamic vinaigrette, I'm actually gonna add some finely chopped shallots. Those are always just wonderful in salad dressing. And just a little bit of Dijon mustard. Okay, so I've got my flavoring ingredients and you just wanna mix those up a little bit. You can see there's not really that much in the bowl at this point. And now it's time to add our oil and this is where the secret comes in. What you wanna be doing is whisking the vinegar and the ingredients in the bowl as you add the oil. And while you're whisking, you're just gonna start drizzling this oil in very slowly, drop by drop and whisking the whole time. Now. You don't want to add the oil and then start whisking because it's not going to work the same way. What you're trying to do is create an emulsion where the oil and the vinegar stay in suspension with one another instead of separating out. When you get this nice emulsion, it also gives the salad dressing some nice body so it doesn't just run off the leaves and sit in the bottom of the salad bowl. It actually coats the leaves nicely. And that's what that looks like. Now, when you've got about as much oil as vinegar, you want to taste it. See how you're doing. If it's still too tart, you can add a little bit more oil. If it's not tart enough, you can go back and put in a little bit more vinegar. Same technique, whisk and just drizzle the vinegar in while you're whisking. And if by the time you get your salad dressing balanced, you've got way too much salad dressing, because that's happened to me before, just pour a little bit of salad dressing into a little bowl and save it for your next salad. In any case, we're ready with our salad dressing. And now it's time to add the lettuce. I've already got it washed and dried in my salad spinner, so I'm just gonna add the lettuce with my nice clean hands, of course, to the salad bowl. And it's time to toss it up. Once you get into the habit of making your own salad dressing, which, as you can see, takes less than two minutes, I guarantee you're never gonna go back to bottled salad dressing again. They just don't hold a candle to the nice balanced flavor you get from a homemade vinaigrette. So let's see how we did. Mmm, that's a salad. I've got lots more tips on how to put together healthy meals and everything you need to know to put together a healthy diet in my new book, Secrets for a Healthy Diet, What to Eat, What to Avoid, and What to Stop Worrying About. It's got recipes, meal plans, and shopping guides, and it's on sale now at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or wherever you like to buy books. Pick up a copy today and eat something good for me.